What's up, crawlers? It's Crawler Baller. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It is me, Crawler Baller. And this is Crawler Baller Headquarters. My little indoor course that I've been working on for I think about a year now. If you are new here, welcome. Please like this video and subscribe. And comment below if this is your first time at the channel. I'd love to know who's new. If you're an old subscriber then you know exactly what's going on I'm showing you guys my course first and then I'm gonna run a truck on it specifically a TRX 4M which one is that it's the high trail but it's like the Ford F-150 I think that's what it's called I don't know a lot about trucks but I do like driving these and this one, this is my first drive of this truck. This is not box stock. I did change the wheels and tires. And I put in a Holmes 87 turn motor along with the low uh, speed gears in the transmission. On my other trucks, I actually ended up just getting the full transmission swap because I'm lazy this one they didn't have one of those and I'm surprised though the little gears I think were like five dollars so that's awesome upgrade if you're gonna get one of these trucks definitely get the low speed gears for me when I was putting them in because they're a little bit different than the ones that were in there I like snapped a picture of the ones that were in there I was like okay that's what it looks like if I have to put it back together and then I was like trying to figure out the configuration of like where these gears go and it took me like 30 minutes and then I had to like label them with a little thing I'm like okay that one goes there and if that one goes there then it does this I'm so bad at working on trucks but who cares I'm having a lot of fun and that's all that matters but yeah, so I was going to drive this box stock, but it, I do have box stock um, T-Rex 4M videos out there. And, you know, like any other crawler that you get, you know, right out of the box, there's, you know, they're a little toyish compared to, you know, once you start doing upgrades, I suppose. I didn't want to bore you guys with just like running a box stock truck through here. You've already seen that especially in this platform so I wanted to do the upgrades because I really really like how this thing performs with those I mean I suppose you get that little ESC but it's not that bad um, it's got a very nice like see right there like that's pretty slow very nice and controlled um, I would say though like compared to my uh, Fury Tech Cayman Pro, that one is like super sensitive. Like as soon as you start touching, what do you call that? The trigger, whatever. The gas. As soon as you start fingering the gas, it's like you're taking off. This one actually has like maybe like a centimeter, I guess, or a quarter of an inch, something like that. So like when you start pulling on the gas. It's like thinking about it for a second, but then there's like a, oh, that's really where we're starting at. Um, so there's definitely like a feel to get used to. But I think that's for all my trucks. They all kind of perform differently and, you know, except unless it's like a full on brushless, like my Cayman Pro. You know, they're gonna be not perfect. Ooh. Snap! Did you hear that? Right there on my other one, the uh, Cheyenne, I've got the trailer hitch attached to that. So that one is scrapey scrapied. This one I haven't done that yet. Because I really didn't want to kill the departure angle too much. So far this is a pretty good run.
working our way up to the old Devil's Bee Hole. Remember when this was just the Devil's Bee Hole at my other spot? That obstacle was so sick. I tried to recreate it a little bit, but I couldn't find the other rock that was like kind of, I don't know, it was like an actual hole. This was just like a bee crack going up. It's not as easy as it looks. But anyways... I'm having so much fun with this truck. I think it looks great. Can you believe that this is the bar line for RTRs now? Holy crap. I'm so excited about doing this hobby in the future. Let's see where it goes. Here's a couple little snippets of CBHQ. But anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again real soon. Peace. Oh yes, the bonus features. I was gonna do the unboxing of this in the beginning of my video. Um, but I actually noticed when I look at like my, uh, not that I have a bunch of viewers, but you know, I get analytics or whatever. And most people prefer just to jump right into the action, I've noticed. So I decided I'll make this a little feature at the end. Like how I use my uh, dab rig to open this crap. Ah, I hate that sound. The sound of styrofoam or whatever. I turned the volume down on this part of the video because I was listening to it like ah, ah, ugh, that kills my ears. Oh yeah, when you're ripping this plastic off, make sure to not rip off any things like, do you see that? Jeez, it is gone. It's all right, I can glue that back whenever I want. But anyways, thanks again for watching. And we will see you again real soon. Right? I hope. That would be very nice. But anyways, see y'all.